Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a ThinkPad X1 Yoga Gen 7 edition. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your storage and your memory um, in case you want to upgrade or replace it. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. Then we're going to flip the computer over to access your bottom case screws. You have two screws here on the side, two screws here on the side, and one in the middle. Also guys, after removing all of your screws, make sure that you remove your stylus right here because that'll break or it'll stop the bottom case from coming off. So make sure you remove that. After removing that and all of your screws, you're going to take a small flat, preferably plastic pry tool and go around the seam of your bottom case and gently but firmly pry it up from the rest of your computer. Now I like to use like a flat guitar pick or something resembling that, metal pry tools tend to scratch your case a little bit more. So after you get that off, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a general rule, guys, before touching anything in your computer, either remove or unplug your battery. The idea is to get as little power running through the computer as possible while we're working on it to avoid damaging anything. To get your battery out, guys, you have six screws. You have to remove all the screws. And then the battery doesn't actually plug in by wires or plugs anywhere. It's kind of a very easy battery. Once you undo all these screws, the battery will just lift out of the computer. Uh, just to give you some specs on the battery, guys, this is a 57 watt hour battery. The one that was in this computer was 15.44 volts. And the model number was L20C4P71. I'll have all those specs below in, in the description. Um, I'll also have a link above and below in the description that show you all the replacement parts for this computer, as well as the tools and supplies that I use to get inside of it. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed slash unplugged, uh, we're safer to go deeper into the computer. Here's your solid state drive right here. It's a single M.2 port. There's a single screw right here that will release your solid state drive and that will unplug from this port by simply sliding it to the left. So that's fairly simple to get at once the computer is opened up. As far as the RAM guys, the RAM's kind of disappointing in this computer. Depending on what version you have, you can have a max of 32 gigabytes of RAM for this computer. However, the RAM, no matter what you have with the one you purchased, it will be soldered onto the motherboard. It's integrated into the motherboard. So you can't actually access it to replace it or upgrade it. If you're looking to upgrade the RAM, you would literally have to upgrade or replace the entire motherboard um, to get a motherboard option for this model that has a higher value of, of RAM. Um, again, maxing out at 32. So that's how you access your, your storage, your solid state drive. And again, if you're looking to do anything with your memory or your RAM, that would involve a, a motherboard uh, swap out. Um, so I hope this helped you out. Any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see your question there and you need to leave me one, please do. I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.